It's supposed to be a moment What good is being the one When you the only one that knows it I am Dan Indra And I am a designer here at 2K My career is the mode Where you get to take your player Whether it's you Or a fantasy version of you And live out an NBA career I can't believe we made it, man And in that career You make a lot of decisions along the way but when we're getting around to summertime, you might want some new stuff to do that may be a different choice that you could have made early on. It could be a different thing that you focus on. It might be the different players that you choose to become friends with. It might be picking a different shoe brand for an endorsement. It could be picking a different position or archetype altogether. You'd be surprised how much of what you experienced was determined by all of those things, who you knew, when you knew them, what shoes you were wearing. So start a new career and make completely different choices, new position, new archetype, whatever. So tell us something about 2K18. Am I allowed to? Yes. One of the big things we've done in the last couple of years is developing and expanding on the archetype system. And in 2K18, the archetype system will be expanded and deeper than it's ever been before. Hey, I'm Mike Wang, the gameplay director for NBA 2K. And um, you know, for this summer, I know a lot of people have been playing the game all year, and there's people new to our game. And for all of you guys, I recommend that you jump into 2KU. Whether it's the 2KU game or freestyle practice, there's a ton of new stuff to learn and a lot of new moves you can add to your game. And I recommend checking out the tips glossary because every move in the game is in there. And who knows, you might even find a go-to move that you like using. Can you share anything about 2K18? Oh, wow, 2K18. Before we get into 2K18, I think one of the biggest challenges we faced this year in 2K17 was just balancing shooting. So we went back, reviewed all the past shooting systems in our games, all the way back to 2K11, took all the good things that we liked about all those different systems, and we put together what I think is the best system to date for 2K18. And we're so excited for you guys to try it out in September. What's good, bitch ass niggas? How y'all motherfucking feeling? It's the Go God! ISO God Sensei, that nigga Swan. Be sure to sub and like the motherfucking video. Fuck you, man. Now, um, let's talk about this 2K18 shit. If you guys didn't know, you know, I, I guess I'm late on this. Uh, this was on 2K TV, man. I was told to go watch this shit, you know, make a video about it. Get my opinion, my nigga. Because that, that's what people like. You know, I'm the greatest player, you know, in 2K history. Greatest IQ. So, I'm going to let y'all know what, 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 what I, you know, my thoughts after seeing that. RIP green lights. Green lights are gone. I think the shooting is going to be close to where it was on 2K16 for a majority of the game. To where it was hard to shoot. Like, you had to be good or you, you're not splashing, my nigga. You feel me? And y'all already know what that motherfucking means. If you can't shoot in a game where it's not overpowered, you know, like it is in this game. Because, I mean, if I really wanted to be competitive, like, if I really wanted to really just win, like, nonstop, I would be a sharpshooter or speed boost and sharp. I mean, it's to the point to where shooting is so OP that you don't even have to be a playmaker. I mean, you got pro-am teams, right? You always need a playmaker, right? You never see in real life, I mean, isn't that what they're trying to mimic? You never see in real life a sharpshooter, you know, fucking running point. But you see that in pro-am, okay? There's a problem. You, you don't need it for, you really don't need it for park. Even though people do it, you really don't. You will have, you will be way better if you really adjust to your sharp and like really fuck niggas over. You, it's, it's way more versatile. It's, it shouldn't be like that. You you shouldn't be, a, you shouldn't be able to do a lot of the shit that you're able to do as a sharp, sharp shooter. It, it, there's a lot of stuff, man. There, there's a lot of stuff, but I think they're going to make the shooting harder there's obviously gonna be subclasses for the motherfucking archetypes. You could tell the nigga said it's gonna be more in depth, you know? I don't think shot creators should exist, you know? It, I think it's fucking goofy, my nigga, like just a main shot creator that I think like slashers and shot creators should be combined and all that super lean and shit, that shit, that shit need to, you know, you know, all that off balance shit, that, it, it don't make sense how a nigga can shoot better leaning than a spot up. That shit's that's beyond me, my nigga. Um, but yeah, man, that that that's about all I got, bro. I'm I'm hoping they really do some cool archetype shit. Like you could make a playmaker lockdown, playmaker sharpshooter, or you could be like a, you could have like three different subclasses, and then like one for shooting, and then one for dribbling, and one for rebounding. I I don't fucking know. I think it's gonna be pretty cool, but I think it's gonna be all over the place i think it's gonna be fucked up i think 2k 18 is going to be way worse than 17 
<laughs> with glitches and just what I, I don't know bro all I know is every year it keeps getting worse bro I'm following the patterns I, I, I I'm so I, I'm I really I, I really want this game to be good bro cuz I don't want to play this ass ass game bro ah, bro if it's like sick oh my god <laughs> I just hope it gets better, my nigga. Y'all let me know what y'all if y'all think 2K18 gonna be better or worse. What what kind of archetypes you think they're gonna follow? If you think green lights are gonna be gone, how you think the shooting's gonna be? How do you think it's gonna be overall better? You think esports gonna be popping, my nigga? Do you think I am going to again be the greatest 2K player? No try, my nigga. You feel me? But hopefully, you know it's actually competitive. To where I go and just drop off everybody, you know. But this game was so bad. Like, I just did not care. Like, I do not care about playing anybody. I'm literally just getting on and running with randoms and trolling and just screaming at niggas and dropping off niggas. Ugh. I hope it's like 16 or 15 or just entertainment-wise, bro. You know, I, I don't know why they're taking away the green release. I mean, it's pretty obvious that they're taking away the green release. That takes away from the excitement of the game. I think this game is gonna keep getting slower and niggas gonna keep getting bigger. It's, it's corny. I hope you niggas have a beautiful day. Be sure to sub if you're new. Um, comment down below, go God, 2K18, if you made it this far. Adios, bitch ass.